and hello again guys David here today I'm be teaching you how to make rope and ball socket suspension so let's start this thing first of all we're gonna need some wheels and some blocks for us for my spops all those models are really fine and nice like so we're gonna take a some wheel well, too big there we go So what is this suspension actually like? Is that you have a ball socket from this wheel to this base this base plate. But your ball socket um, should go from here to here. And it should be solid in the wheel because your wheel has to swing up and down like so. When it's constrained to this point over there, it will become like so, like you have a circle or something. You'll see that in a second. So to make it exactly, we're gonna need some precision move with face checked I'm gonna move it I don't know, like here because I will exactly know where to put the ball socket so this point here will be projected to this point over there see the yellow X I'm gonna move this, I don't know, let's just move it here in the back, like so, and the center of this wheel is projected over here, so what you're gonna do is take a socket center Doo -doo -doo -doo. not the advanced settings not quite we don't need to take the constraint and first let's check where is the ball socket place and where is the the rigid thing placed so if I grab one wheel we see that the ball socket is rigid across this wheel and it's located in this wheel here its center easy as that if you are not sure where to put the ball socket just click on this and that And we can see the first one that we click is actually the ball socket. And the rigid part of the ball socket is the second thing we click. So we need actually a regular ball socket for that to work because if we try to take the mass center of this prop, we'll just create a ball socket from here to there that is not that we want so grab your ball socket and again if you're not sure where the rigid part is just click that and then that and we see that the 
rigid part is the first thing that we click so that means our wheel and then our base prop and now if I do that come on there we go can see that our ball socket is in this indeed placed correctly. So there is a error of your wheels that will be present if you don't put the ball socket correctly. So imagine for example I have a I have my wheel like here below because well I know but I have to hit the bumps out and I'll just place hydraulics or so. If you do that, your wheel will, be, wheel will become skewed. So this thing is no longer a perfect straight line from the center of this wheel to this point here. Instead, it's like from the center here to this point. <coughs> that means if you means that you have a triangle instead of an actual line, and your wheel will pump up on the ground when you try to drive your car around. Here if I do that here, you can see that it wobbles. This is bad. That's because the ball socket has an offset. It's not relative to the actual normal vector here but instead it's from here to there I don't know and it will just wobble like so so be careful where is the center and where you put your ball sockets so there <laughs> here that our ball socket is perfectly placed so this is if you if you're not really sure what I'm doing I'm just gonna do that I see our wheel stays perfectly on the ground and doesn't wobble to the left or to the right when it's doing its thing so you see now we have the desired ball socket from the center of this wheel relative to its normal vector pointing there and connecting to this point over here so the second thing we need to do is actual rigid drop rope You can place this like in the center or to the back, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna place it on the back. Why am I doing this? Because either way you will, will do a movement like so and, and we, we want to prevent it to, from doing that. So grab your precision tool, then move. I'm gonna pull a little bit of 20% from the wheel. So this here is 
here it's back should be accessible so if we take our precision alignment we can set our hit position to be here push 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 then like so we have an, a wheel at exact position the ball socket was <laughs> why it did not touch the point this pop <laughs> oh well let's just tie like so It should also work. Take that. Touch. And you can see here that the line is now drawn. From this point to the center of this wheel. I'm gonna adjust this thing a little bit. Points here, gap point one. Hit relative to the entity, then something smaller, I don't know, 3 and click set we should pretty much go to the and to this surface there so now we need our second point, let's just grab one hmm. there we go Attach this to that. So we have one point attached to the entity and the other to the base plate. We grab our precision rope. And we check the rigid. And from 1 to 2, create constraint. Is that easy? If I grab this thing, you can see that this wheel is now bouncing up and down. like so but sometimes I can see that you need <sighs> wheel that is gonna stay perpendicular to this main prop and should be a, a little bit more down Just remove our ropes. And if you want to do that, just position your props whatever you like. I'm just gonna again use the the end to this plate so what you're gonna do is play around a bit with precision alignment mm. let's test um, where and how it creates its ball sockets so we have mass center here and there. 
we go to normal box socket from 1 to 2 and now quite checked how is this not attached to the entity Never mind that. From point one to point two, we're going to create box socket like so. And let's see where the box socket sits. It sits in point one. That means you have to grab your center two place two points here select that then you go to the points and select point the point that we have to anchor the ball socket on I'm gonna select point one for this tutorial and check relative to the entity go and let's just give it a bunch forty hundred hmm. by the way the longer this arm is the smoother will your wheel go up and down that's because if you have um, a sphere with larger radius it should feel more, more like a fat surface than a sphere so in theory if you increase this arm to infinite length this wheel should go like so up and down without the need to tilt like so and now we're going to select that and attach our first point to the base plate to become like so and our second point should be attached to the wheel now we go here if some of you who don't know how this menu appears, it's using the R key for reload. So we here have point one and point two. We go to constrain ball socket. And we remember that the, the this second point projection is projected into this first point, which is relative to this entity here. So if we constrain it using the ball socket in the point one, this wheel should swing relative to point one, like so. We just grab this thing a little bit, then boom, it just works. And if you do this kind of suspension like so, it will be easier for you to place the ropes afterwards. So you just have to click the center and click wherever you like. I want to click here. The rest thing is easy. You all know the 
you can place hydraulics here or elastics or whatever. I'm not gonna bother to do this right now. This video is just for showing you the how to make this kind of suspension. Of you who want really easy suspension is just um, create two points like so in the base prop, then attach the second prop, a second point to the prop, and we can go here. We have elastic spring constant, just bump it a little bit. Dumping should be. I don't know. Like this. And like that. Don't check stretch only. From 1 to 2 and create constraint. Easy as that. But you have to make it a little bit more stiff. This is just playing around with these settings. For one to two, you just have to play, play around. Oh, look now, it's done. And if you use this suspension, your wheel will kind of sag relative to the this here radius that you create. But we, you have one less rope to worry about and just uses. A ball socket constraint, which is kind of easy to do if you are pretty much low on ropes. Whoa! The curse of sit anywhere script. I tried to, to sit on the our wheel there. So how can you make a cap using this suspension? show you mine. I have prepared a sample for you guys. See the back. So those two wheels here and here we have a ball socket from the this center to this side and another ball socket from this center to, to this side also. Those two are wire hydraulics, they are controlled using these. Do, 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 do. Here, land dumping and constraint. All that neat stuff. Um, about the Ah, if you're using ball socket differential drive like me, you have to place the advanced ball sockets when this wheel is fully perpendicular to this surface here. Otherwise, the connection will will be very, very crappy. The easiest way, way to do this is grabbing your precision tool by freezing the targets and now to align to world just mm, just apply like so and like so place your ball sockets from here to here and here to here then I freeze the whole thing that suspension is very easy to do and you can see I don't really have second hydraulic there. Oh, I mean rope. So 
So you have one rope from here to the beginning or second of your car, whatever does fit for you. And another element which is the bumps. Again, very easy to do suspension. This kind of reminds me of the suspension of the rear bridge of those cheaper cars. So you have your main prop like so, then you have a some swing arm which is access to there. Like so. And here stays your wheel. And you have a spring between this and that. Simulated to you and use elastic. Here you have the elastic that swings this arm out up and down, but these have <coughs> they have sloppy axes because you have one nasty prop in the middle. See how sloppy my wheel is. Just gonna give it another axis center to that. So I hope it's fixed. <laughs> Much better, but still kind of sloppy. You see my point there. You can achieve the same result using one ball socket, one elastic or hydraulic or whatever, and one rope will prevent your wheel to do a motion like so, front and back. Easy to make suspension, fun to drive also, and it just works. If you are not bothered using another rope, or you have your rope limit maxed out so thank you guys for watching hope you like my suspension low socket suspension tips mm, have fun and see you next time